Let me turn hypervoxels off on the first emitter and turn hypervoxels on for emitter 2. Now emitter 2 is a line of points or a line of particles. Uh, the particles don't move, they s just sit there. This is set up so that the uh, particles have a... there's 20 particles born on the first frame and they live for 60 frames plus or minus 15. Now if I turn on my VPR you'll see that I have just little blobs and uh, if I hit play... well let me change my out frame to 75 and hit play. Uh, you probably won't be able to see anything. Well nothing happens anyway. See they're just kind of popping off when they reach the end of their life. So let me change the... I'm going to change things up a bit. I'm going to go to the Geometry tab, and on Particle Size, I'm going to change this. I'm going to add a gradient here. And the gradient, in this case, is going to range over a few frames. I'm going to start at 100%. I'm going to drop it down to 50%. Oops, accidentally created a keyframe there. I'm going to raise it to 125%. And I'm going to add another keyframe and drop it down to 20%, and the bottom frame is there. And I'm going to set the input parameter to be particle age. So this is the age of the particle, how old the particle is. And remember, I set the particle age to be um, 60 frames. And you notice that all of these particles change size together. Even though some some of these particles don't live as long as the other ones, they're all in sync as far as, you know, when they're scaling up and all that. And I'm going to add another keyframe down here at the bottom just so I have a little extra just before it goes out. Okay. Oh, I have the end set to 30, so this should be set to 60, I guess. And I will use my scale keys command to stretch it out. Let's see what this looks like. That's more what I expected. Okay, just before they go out, well, like I said, they're all going in sync. If I change my particle age to relative particle age, rather than looking at the, uh, the overall global setting for the particle age, it's going to base the gradient on each individual particle's lifespan, the length of its life. And now, you'll see since some live a longer amount of time, and some live a shorter amount of time, their sizes aren't playing in sync. They're actually, you know, changing based on their relative particle age. And if I uh, switch over to the object type to be sprite mode, and I do something fun like use all lights and change the clip to star and change the uh, uncheck use color and let's try this let's add a little rotation and just do a quick preview so they're all probably gonna work in sync actually let me this is going to take a little longer than I want it to, so I'm just going to quit it, and I'm going to go back to regular texture mode. And my geometry tab, show particles, and there we go. Let me make a preview on that. So there's my fancy schmancy little animation. It's kind of like uh, flash photography.